I need injectable swag belly point five. Now basically what this is, it basically will add more shinies to your Pokemon Go game, increase shinies and more. Now I coded this so you cannot steal it. Basically the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you have untrusted shortcuts enabled. If you don't, then I'll link a article or video teaching you how to do that. But you're gonna wanna go to rusty.co.blog and hit download now. By the way, guys, I do not control any of the advertisements on this site. So basically, you're going to want to click Add Shortcut. And it's entirely how I'm going to click Cancel, but you're going to click Install. So now, you can add it to your home screen if you let it want. But I've noticed that just launching it from the shortcuts causes less glitches. So, open from Shortcut. Type this exactly like me. Now, in the last video, you had to type something really complex. So, like, uh, in um, Strikeboy Point 3, I changed that. Yeah, we have a lot of updates since the last video. Adding shiny, encoding the shiny hash. You'll get like eight notifications. Shinies have been added. And you'll get this. Um, just click done because it's just encoding media. And then you'll get 11 new shortcuts notifications. And that's it. Um, shinies have been added. Now, for me, I have no Pokemon toning right now, but on the Stoli community day, I have like up the chances of getting a shiny a lot. It's probably one in five now. Your chance of getting a shiny on Stoli Day using the shiny injector. Fennekin can't be shiny, and sadly my mod can't change anything. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Now, of course, not every Pokemon you click on is going to be shiny. That would ruin the game. But yeah, that'll be it. By the way, Swagbilly Point Six um will be releasing soon, but it will not change anything about the game. So this tutorial is really easy to follow. Um and Swagbilly Android. A lot of people want Swagbilly on Android, and the only answer I can give you is coming soon. I have no experience of Android coding. I mean, I have a little, but not much. So this will be my very first time doing Android coding. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, which will hopefully be a swag really Android announcement.